Welcome back, everybody. I'm back with Miss Gail Morrill. She is the owner of Gave Downtown. And, of course, we're talking about wedding planning today. That's right. That's right. You know, once we've gone through the time now, we've had our engagement, we've had our, our morning smoochies and all this kind of mm -hmm. good stuff. Now we've got to get down to some serious business. We've got our books made out for our brides. I brought my daily book right here. But it's not the bride. I'm not planning the wedding, but I want you girls to have your wedding planner with you. We've got the books down for that. You've got your engagement ring. And now we've got to get down to deciding when are you going to have the wedding. Mm -hmm. So people say, oh, I want this date and this date. Well, you need to back up a minute and go back and check around and see what other functions are taking place okay. at that time. So I always recommend name out two or three different times that you'd like to have, then put those on the paper, go down and check and see what kind of special events are they having in town. You know, we don't want to come in and have this big wedding and then there'll be this big yes. whoop down for the town and mm -hmm. nobody's going to be there at your wedding because yeah. they're going to be over here for this. So you want to check and see what else is going on in the city, check with the Chamber of Commerce, they can tell you if there's any big actions taking place. We had a big wedding downtown. A young lady was trying to schedule one time, and, and that was going to be Mardi Gras weekend. Oh, no. And I said, oh, no, 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 you don't want to do that. First of all, you're not going to be able to get any people parked down there for things like oh, that. Goodness. So you have to use your judgments, and you have to check around and see. Then you want to check with Aunt Margaret or, you know, Miss Bertha or what have you, and say, okay, do we have any big family gatherings going on this weekend? That oftentimes would be the opportune time. Mm -hmm. If you're having a, a Saturday wedding, uh, family reunion on Sunday, then everybody's going to be in town and that would be a great time. So these are just little bitty things to go and look for. You want to decide on your weather conditions. Do you want an indoor or outdoor wedding? This is going to determine what time of the year you want to have that. Because okay. if we know we're going to be in the middle of a rainy season, not that we have too many of those yeah. in all these, but you know, sometimes we do. You want to watch for them. Then plan your day sometime different. Uh, for your wedding. And now I've heard too that depending on the day of the week, you might get a cheaper price than other days. Um, that's not too often. Okay. Yes. Okay. Occasionally it may be. Now your seasons, you might get some more okay. places. Uh, that was the next point I was going to make too. Thank you. When you have them, you've got to make sure your hotels are going to be available for accommodations. If okay. we're in a real heavy time, Mardi Gras, what have you, that's where something's coming up real soon is why it's so heavy in my mind. <laughs> then you've got to make sure you're going to be hotel accommodations for your out-of-town people to stay. Oh. And I've already seen my wrap-up <laughs> now. <laughs> that's right. We're going to be back in just a minute. We're going to go back over to Chris. Well, we're back with Miss Gail Morrill from Gabe talking about wedding planning. We've been talking about the location. Yes. So, I want to throw something in okay. here real quick. We talked about my little book earlier. I don't know if they can zoom in or if it's going to be too glossy. But I found this the other day, and I just really enjoy it. But it's got the fruit of the Spirit as love, joy, and peace from Galatians chapter 5. There we go. And, you know, I said if I could just put that into every bride and groom's heart, that would be such a joy. When you are marrying and you're preparing and planning to have a good marriage, you've got to have those three things. Now, when you have those three things and... and and the fellow wakes up and he's in a grumpy mood and you're going to say, okay, love, joy, and peace. I'm going to smile at him and, and give him that love, joy, and peace. And you know what? The fruit of that spirit is the fact that it's going to flow that love, joy, and peace back on them. So if I could just throw in one little memoir this morning, it's to remember, even in our everyday life, if somebody comes in and ruffles your feathers, you don't know what's causing. I mean, it's not always just towards you. You know, they may do some crazy things. I, every now and then will slip up and do something really crazy. Surprising, isn't it? You yes. didn't know that, did no. you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody I can do has some moments. crazy things. Life's exciting in my world. <laughs> okay, now we've talked about, about picking our day. Yes. Now let's get down to the excitement of picking the location. Do you want to have it in your church? If you have a regular church and you want to have the traditional wedding in the church, Talk with your church. Make sure they have that day blocked out for you. Find out from them what you're going to be allowed to do. All of your churches usually have packages saying, we allow this, we allow that, we don't allow these things. A lot of your churches no longer allow you to use regular candles if you're using a lot of candle oh. You have to have the dripless candles. And so you've got to check when you're preparing to work with your consultant and doing the wedding and your florist to make sure they're going to be able to use these type candles. We showed up at a wedding 
a few months back, and, and the bride had already talked to everybody at the church. Everything was fine. All I had was the regular routine candles. And they said, oh, no, we can't use those. And I thought, oh, yeah, Jackson, we have no perfect. choice. Yeah. This is the day of the wedding. We're out in the country. Oh, this is where it works. But I'm the consultant. You know, I go and check with the people on those type things to make sure what's allowed and what's not. Well, I always go prepared, thank goodness, for something like that. And I had the clear plastic I put underneath it and covered it with greenery so it That's didn't show fine. and look That's pretty. Good. And they, they let us go and do that. But these are things you need to check for. Take them to whoever. If you're not going to have a coordinator, remember, coordinator's up here, counselor's here. Take it to your consultant and ask them to go over the package with you if you have any questions. And then we can highlight for you what you need to go back and find out. If you're going to have your reception at the same location where you're doing the wedding, then this is great. But you need to let the people know that. You don't want to go up for the church having a wedding, think you're going to have a reception afterwards and find out two to three days before that. Oh, no, the ladies are having their big meeting that That's week for their yard sale and everything's going to be set up <laughs> right there. And we can't have it there. So these are two things you've got to be sure you talk about and you find out. <clears throat> They're wrapping me up and yep. I'm losing my voice. We're going to continue on this next week. Now, if you have any questions about these things or say your wedding date is coming up sooner than what I'm giving you and you've got questions for it, just call me and I'll talk to you about it. Gabe's 347-8628 is my personal number for it there. You just get direct to me. But we'll hit them. We'll get all of them in place. Sounds okay? good. You guys go see her at Gabe downtown, and you can ask her questions in person, too. Even if we're not doing the wedding, I'd be happy to answer your questions. There you go. Thanks for being here this <laughs> Thank morning. Thank you. On over to you, Chris. God bless you all.